Clearly, he is helpless. Even if he were to hold it down a road and get a quarterback sweep, there's no chance he could defend himself. The biggest tip of the night may be his defense on flat-out falling. He'll be into it the second the ball lands in his hands. As time goes on, Dula simply walks up, throws, and completes the pass to Pal. There is a punishment for sisters. As a defensive player, it need not be your helmet's peak, but it should be in the 20s for the Rose Bowl. Is Andre Allen about to throw a huge hit, and Connor Shaw is now in the middle? What a jerk. A guard from his own 40. Maybe he went for it. But there's a full Sean Taylor return path if he looks to the left, launches it. Take care not to body slam. Now you can defend yourself thanks to Slater's speech. You can see him raise his hand, but the challenge is that this is square when you watch him come back. Following a play fake, the Diamond Fairy just leads the ball over the middle, where it is intercepted. Attempt to whack him on the shoulder or get his head out of that corner. And then there was the fact that despite applying pressure, he left Sheldon Brown out in the apartment to commit separation. Sanders and check to see if there's a cloud here at quarterback with his helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. In this area of the field, you will find a post-high safety who is eager to help you out. The 59 million screen clotheslines emerge, rise to their original height, and then return to their original speed. Brian Dock hit a terrific shot. Take a look at it. An instance like that will occupy your thoughts at a later time. And I'll tell you what. Mike is now more towering. Across the center, it lay. This is an enormous welcome. On this Thanksgiving, he must return and seize him. The time is up, and he's been drilled and given the position guy's preference. He was on the prowl for his possession guy, you know, trying to find him, and my goodness, run with all your might, the ball is in your court. He finished it. Yes, he did. He was just brutally murdered by Speedy. Those helmets that went flying inside the five-yard line, Mandela surfaces, takes a beating, and then lays them to rest. S1 with a nine versus South Carolina, but the exchange was a bit of a snag. And now there's something that seems like a mission, and then it's off again. Yes, his left side is belting out more. You need to know if you're protected because this is the quarterback. At the same time that Cushing is raising Lynch up by the legs, he is grasping Lynch by the back. As it begins to shake the ball loose, that's the right shoulder. Oh my, that lick really gets the job done. Inside the tunnel, they attempted to run low, but the screen went underneath them. Chuck sees a new laces, but Bernard had already caught the ball and turned. Keep an eye on it until the very end, when the interceptions will occur. The glorification is fleeting. Contact like that, particularly on wobblers thrown by Harris. You can hear their reaction, and we're already viewing the replay. There's a chipped shoulder there. Pressure is about to hit you, and he will succeed. And he effortlessly lowers the boom with his rapid surge. That goes out, and Ryan's two players are on their way. The master of misfortune. This is a severe knock. For 15 years, he has been igniting passions. Give us a peek as Harrison chases us over the middle. All hail Simon Sharp, an Ocampo who happens to be married to a heen. He appeared to be playing the ball, in fact. Is it a brook and water at 27? After falling, he strikes out at his own men. When the time comes, Brooks is at rock bottom. Brandon, and he's down, getting smacked literally head-on collision. Engaging combat directly on the fireplace, it will surpass any touchdown reception he has ever achieved. There he is, deep in PR, right up to the 20. Now that we've finished, let Delta Guy fly wide open. You guys might not see the ball rise after that big shot. In a football game, you shoot Cooks and knock him down at the 40-yard line. Lost for a while, I whirled about circled back around, and then it was all over. Going deep, back up the pass, steps up. 
John Taylor and FedEx Field leveled all the Elvis clubs. The only thing he can recall is that someone punched him in the face with a forearm. From what I can see, he comes out looking too false in the first half as Rodwell gets the lead. At the 39-yard line, the Russian sued, and he took a hit. Oh, ladies, it's nice to see Mecca gateways. Walters, the first to the scene, catches the high pass and sets up reasoning for heels. Fishes, hits, and a pleasant but brief kick. The ball gets free and turns over three times. If they manage to throw him off his flow, then you can see that Taylor was unsuccessful. And as they collided, 